Laundry on Tuesdays. Episode number, whatever number is shown in this title. I wasn't paid enough to read hypothetical numbers for this potentially awful series. Hello, highly esteemed viewers. Welcome to a yet another. No. Hello, highly esteemed viewers, and welcome back to my favorite day of the week Tuesday, laundry day. The day where I get to take a break from doing what I love and deal with the steaming hot pile of delicious food, is what I had today. I had the greatest little pastries. Mmm, so good. Uh, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of nuts, a little bit of, that's all I remember. I could be describing cake. I'm not really sure what I had. Anyways, wow, what a day. What a day, let me tell you all. Yeah, you know when you have, maybe you're in school or something, you know when you have those busy, busy days where you get maybe spurts of five minutes to yourself? That's what I had today. This happens to me a Tuesday in the past. The World Series happened. Now, because I live in a very rural area, I we don't have what you would call cable. Keep in mind, we live really far away from any TV broadcasting towers. So, I had to go and buy an antenna. So I found a pro outdoor antenna. And guess who tried to install it by themselves? I took it upon myself to become the the <laughs> the trailer lackey. I did my best. Uh, I went out. I bought copper wire to ground it in case of a thunderstorm. I bought a, like a 50 foot coax cable. I bought fucking screws. I, I you know this was all in the greater part of the first half of the day. However, this will not deter me from sharing a story. I want, I've been wanting to tell y'all for like a week now, but gosh, I just haven't gotten around to it. Communications breakdown. Now, what that is, to me at least, when a message is not understood or not communicated properly to another person. How ironic is this sentence? There's a communications breakdown going on right now. Anyways, freshman year, when I was in high school, um, freshman year was a very complicated year. Uh, half of me wanted to be a lone wolf. I didn't want anyone. Ironically, that's around the time when I had the biggest group of friends I ever had. <laughs> but I wanted to be a lone wolf, okay? But the other half of me wanted to be cool. Wanted to be, you know, totes popular. I wanted to be that kid. Mm. I worked mediocrely hard at it. And then one day, one day, I was in my English class. I was minding my own business, writing things down in my notebook. No, what the hell is that? No, 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 no. Wrong. Try again. I was in my English class, writing some things down on my- God damn it, you fucking editor. Do it again. Do it right. I was in my English class, writing down some things on my notebook. And then the kid in front of me, who ironically had the same name as me, uh, Magonza, also his name because that's my real name and that happened to be his real name he slipped like a I can't remember if he if he slipped a piece of paper or he wrote it on my notebook no he slipped a piece of paper for sure for sure for, no no he wrote it on my notebook no <laughs> confusion communications breakdown he will just say this is irrelevant <laughs> he slipped a piece of paper with <laughs> letters and numbers on it now, I was pretty cool at, at, at video games, even back then, you know, video games were something I was really into. I had no idea what this meant though. So he slipped the paper, you know, 
I put my thinking reading glasses on. I look down at it. And it says, 1V1MW2. I stared at the paper. I stared at him. I stared back down at the paper. And wondered, what kind of secret code is this? Is this some kind of rubric? An answer sheet or something to the homework that I did not do. Did I forget to do another thing of homework? I suddenly got lost in my own mind. I wasn't able to impress the kid. Because I asked him, what? What the fuck is that? This is where it gets worse. He asked me, you play Call of Duty, right? I was like, yeah. What is this, like a cheat code? To Call of Duty, what is this? What are you saying here? What are you saying, are you saying here? He was like, he even said it out. A lot of me. 1v1 MW2. I don't understand what you're saying unto me right now. I never wanted to flip a desk as hard as that moment. I really wanted to flip that desk. Years later, somebody sends me a message on my PS3 when MW3 came out. Modern Warfare 3. And they put 1v1 MW3. And I strangely knew what that meant. And I flash back to that moment in my freshman year. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was so not cool. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Oh, communications breakdown is the theme. <laughs> this, this is also something that happened today. And it was pretty packed, let me tell you. I went to go get an oil change for uh, one of my cars. I know how to change oil. It's just, uh-oh, hold on. One second. Okay, is this the light turned off in my van? And I thought the battery died. And I thought I was stranded out here in the laundromat. And I got uh, terrified a little bit. My bad. And I get to the mechanic. He, uh, he, the guy said he wanted his kid to do it. So his, his kid, his kid is like around 25, I wanna say 24. And he springs up the car, you know, jacks it up. He goes underneath and he pops back up. And I popped the hood for him. I'm sorry, I got a little bit of gas. <coughs> I'm good. <laughs> he pumps it up and we're both looking into the motor, you know? And this, I want to tell you something. This is uh, very bad, you know? This is one of these moments happen where on the outside, you have to play it cool to not seem like a jerk. But on the inside, that's totally not the case. What happened was, we were looking at the motor. He, look, he glances at it for maybe five seconds. He looks dead in my eyes. And he's, he's looking down and he goes, uh, where does the oil go? <clears throat> Two Magonzas here. Two. First is external Magonza. Oh, the oil? Um, <laughs> actually, it's a Japanese card, so, you know, uh, it is kind of tricky. Magonza 2. <laughs> you never want to have a professional tell you that they don't, or reveal to you in any way that they don't know what they're doing. Like, a doctor, you know? <laughs> so, uh, is, that, is that where your heart is right there? At this point, I believe I was delusional or something. Besides all that, and before I end this video, I do want to thank everyone from the bottom of my fluffy Build-A-Bear heart. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for your comments, your likes, even your dislikes. Your day. Hey, you're watching at least. You got an opinion. That's what matters. My subs. You're my homies. I'll never forget about you. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a million years. I'll probably be dead by then. So will you. But it's okay. Because we're sharing this time on this planetary thing we call Earth together. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for spending it today with me. Making my trip to the laundry much more manageable than it ever was. Anyways, keep it short. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.